What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter video, um, I have a lot to do today and I didn't get the video ready before, you know, right now, but uh, we're going to be talking about five Pokemon that I think are going to be super useful in beating the standard Sun team that's going around right now. Uh, if you're unaware, it is widely regarded that this is, uh, or this team is widely regarded as the best team in the format. Uh, it's done super consistently uh, at regionals. Like we see a lot of like Groudon, Zacian, Charizard, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Gastrodon just running around at uh, regionals. And there are a couple of holes in the team that uh, are a little bit exploitable if you want to build a little bit better. So what we're going to be going over today are just five Pokemon that if you can find a place for them on your team, uh, it will actually help out quite a bit in this matchup. So yeah. If you guys enjoy this damn point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day, what Pokemon do you think helps out a bit in this matchup? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about this team real quick. So right now, uh, the team consists of an Assault Vest Groudon with Fire Punch, uh, Presbus Blade, Heavy Slam, Stone Edge. Uh, it's pretty specially defensive. We have a bulky Zacian Crowned. Uh, with Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, Player of Protect. We have Chardy Berry, uh, Charizard, uh, G-Max, which sometimes runs Life Orb, so you can kind of like swap those two in and out for each other. It depends on the player. Uh, it runs Blast Burn, Ancient Power, Hurricane Protect, but obviously Ancient Power can be swapped out for something like uh, Solar Beam if you want to have a slightly better matchup versus Kyogre, uh, since that will probably one-shot it if the sun is up. Uh, we have Light Clay, Grim Snarl, just like standard stuff, Spirit Break, Light Screen, uh, Reflect, and Thunder Wave. We have Shookaberry, Incineroar with Fire Blitz, Parting Shot, Darkest Slayer, and Fake Out. And the thing that, in my opinion, holds the team together is the Gastrodon with Leftover, Storm Drain, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Yawn, and Protect. The reason it holds the team together is because Gastrodon can eat a few hits from Zacian Crowned, as well as opposing Groudon, and it's just that Storm Drain that if, if the Gastrodon didn't exist on this team, everything on this team would just get annihilated by Kyogre. Like, that's just a fact. So Gastrodon being able to eat up hits with storm drain um grim snarl being able to like set up a light screen helps out quite a bit and gastron in the late game if you give it a boost can be quite annoying to deal with especially if they haven't used their dynamax yet on the charizard but yeah the team uh honestly the charizard's super threatening on the offensive side obviously it's got zation and groudon which are two of the hardest hitters in the format it has the support Pokemon to add the bulk and it even has Gastron to like fill that huge void in the team that makes it uh, super weak to Kyogre. So what Pokemon do I recommend uh, finding a place for in your team that could help out quite a bit? Well, in my opinion, um, just finding a place for a Charizard in your team. If you're running Sun, you already have a halfway decent matchup versus this team because you have a Charizard in your team. I recommend... Um, I mean, you can go Charty Berry to help out versus Groudon in case they want to Dynamax it and Max Rock Fall you. However, I think Life Orb is still just strictly better. Um, obviously, the reason that this does so well versus that team is because Charizard threatens Groudon and Zacian quite a bit with Max Wildfire coming off a of Blast Burn. Uh, along with that, if you are running Ancient Power, you're able to go for like a speed tie versus the opposing Charizard and maybe win it with a max rockfall. Uh, it's pretty iffy. Obviously, if you have speed control, if you have something like, you know, an icy wind user on your team or like a, a tailwind user, it's going to be super nice. Uh, so yeah, I think just having Charizard on your team is going to help out quite a bit. Obviously, versus this, everything gets hit by it. There's nothing that switches in on this hit except for possibly Gastrodon, which still doesn't like taking a max air stream from solar power Charizard with a life orb. So yeah, the next one is going to be Landorus Therian. Now, Landorus Therian, I am a huge fan of White Herb right now, but you can obviously run like a bulkier set uh, with, uh, you know, like an Assault Vest, which will help out quite a bit versus Charizard if you go for the Dynamax route. At that point, you drop Swords Dance and you add something else like, uh, I don't know, like you could put a U-turn on that, honestly. There's a, a few things you could do. Uh, but the reason Landorus Therian does so well into this matchup uh, is because Basically, it is a Pokemon that is immune to most of what Groudon wants to go for. Uh, obviously, Presbus Blades is like its strongest move versus it. If you Dynamax, you're immune to Heavy Slam, and then Stone Edge and Fire Punch just don't do anything to you because you've intimidated it. Uh, you basically are just like a counter to Landorus, in my opinion. Or, Groudon. You're basically a counter to Groudon when you're running Landorus, in my opinion. Along with that, Landorus also does phenomenally well into Zacian. Uh, it can intimidate it. If you're running a bulkier set, if you have like an Incineroar next to it, uh, you'll get two Intimidates off versus Zacian, and then all of a sudden, you know, Zacian doesn't want to stay in there, it's 
capable of getting faked out. Uh, it's capable of getting max quaked. So at that point, you can honestly just go for like max quake into airstream next to, you know, to whatever's next to the Zacian. Uh, and then all of a sudden it becomes harder and harder for them to deal with the Landris. Landers having rock coverage allows it to deal with Charizard if it's not running a Charty Berry. Max Rockfall should one-shot it. Um, Grimmsnarl is obviously kind of annoying. Incineroar is obviously kind of annoying. That's why I like White Herb quite a bit, because it helps you bypass the Intimidate from Incineroar. And the Swords Dance set is so nice. We've seen Swords Dance uh, Landers do well at regionals, because it's able to break through things when the opponent wants to play defensively. Like if you lead off Landorus and Incineroar versus like Zacian and Groudon, that's pretty much just a free fake out plus a Swords Dance, and then they have to deal with that. If they switch into Incineroar, the White Herb activates and you're still a plus two. So yeah, like that's that's huge. Uh, I think Landorus is so, 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 so good in this format right now. Next up is uh, Defiant Thunderous. Now, Thunderous has always been good in VGC, uh, especially the Defiant set, and you know, more, more and more people are switching over to the supportive uh, Prankster set. Uh, but I honestly think that Defiant is still kind of better in the format right now. I mean, it depends on the team, depends on what you want. But if you're looking for a way to take on Sun, this is super useful. Um, being like a super specially defensive Pokemon with an Assault Vest uh, and access to Defiant, which makes it pretty much just like a hard check to Incineroar. It makes it so your opponent doesn't want to lead off with Incineroar, which protects some Pokemon on your side of the team, whether you're running like a Calyrex Shadow or uh, a physical attacker that doesn't like facing it. It just makes it so much safer. Dynamaxing allows it to eat a hit from Charizard, and then you can hit it back with a Max Lightning. If they ended up leading off Incineroar, they're not going to take that Max Lightning at plus one. Um, you know, if they end up leading off with Incineroar and you think that they just want to like switch out whatever's next to it uh, to avoid getting one shot by like a max airstream, even then like it's it's you just gain consistent momentum when you're running Thunderous, so that's just super nice. Uh, versus Zacian, it's a little bit annoying because Zacian can usually two shot a Thunderous uh, because Thunderous doesn't have the best physical defense and Behemoth Blade ignores the fact that you Dynamax. Uh, so obviously, you know, I think that Thunderous needs to be ran next to a Landorus or an Incineroar. You need that Intimidate to help it out quite a bit. But if you manage to get that plus one versus a team like this, it becomes super, super annoying, especially the set that I'm running. I personally think that Superpower isn't good on Thunderous. I think you should almost always run Brick Break because of how popular screens are right now. Uh, it helps you get so much momentum for the team. And especially if the Thunderous manages to get off one max airstream before like a partner Zacian hits the ground, it makes it so the Thunderous is able to outspeed the Zacian once the Dynamax ends, hit the Brick Break, break the screens, and then Zacian gets the one shot on whatever it needs. So yeah, Thunderous is huge. Next is Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu is a little bit of a different style of handling this team. Uh, obviously, Mimikyu, it's going to do one thing for you. It's going to get off Trick Room. It's very hard to stop Mimikyu's Trick Room without doubling into it somehow. Um, and the Pokemon on this team struggle to deal with Mimikyu. It, the best way for them to deal with Mimikyu is usually like Groudon plus Zacian, because Zacian outspeeds the Groudon, and then Groudon heavy slams to KO the Mimikyu or Dynamaxes, uh, but you still are capable of just faking out the Zacian, and then they just don't KO the, the Mimikyu, and then you get Trick Room off. And obviously Gastrodon's there to help out with that, however, if you have the appropriate Pokemon to deal with things like Gastrodon, like Seed Bomb Amoongus, which is a thing right now, like Ferrothorn, which obviously doesn't like the rest of the team, but if you're running a Kyogre and a Ferrothorn, you're like, fine. If you can deal with the Gastrodon, at that point, the Trick Room matchup is so much better for you. So yeah, uh, obviously Mimikyu also has the option of burning these two dudes, which is huge. And while Charizard is super annoying because it can't hit you with that max wildfire, and you do take some residual damage, it's like one of the faster Pokemon on the team. So the way that they would have to deal with you is Zacian, you know, outspeeding the Charizard and then Charizard one-shining you with max wildfire. But once again, Zacian can't Dynamax, so it's susceptible to being faked out. So Incineroar plus Mimikyu is just super solid into this. And if you're wondering why I didn't put Incineroar on this list, it's because you already knew Incineroar was going to be useful. You didn't need it. You didn't need me to tell you. And now for my fifth pick, this one is a little bit controversial, a little bit fire in my opinion. Uh, I think Gyarados is actually really good. Um, here's why. The team, I need you to count the amount of electric Pokemon on this team. Do other teams have electric Pokemon? Yes, but if you only need to dedicate one slot to what could be a hard counter to this entire team, Gyarados might be worth it, especially if your team super struggles versus this. Groudon. Its best option is Max Rockfall, which Gyarados has Intimidate and decent bulk, so if you Dynamax, it's like whatever. Zacian, you just wall this thing out for the most part. You resist everything that isn't Play Rough, and Zacian isn't running Wild Charge right now, so yeah, Play Rough isn't going to do too much to you at minus one when you're Dynamaxed. Charizard does not want to deal with this guy. If you run, if you want to run like a bulkier set, yeah, go ahead and run the bulkier set, 
run like an assault vest, but I think that like a life orb or uh, even like safety goggles, something to prevent you from getting like redirected is much more useful. But Charizard doesn't like facing off versus this. If you're going to run the, uh, if you're going to run the Gyarados, I would honestly kind of recommend running it next to some kind of weather setter. Obviously Kyogre is probably the best one. If you want to go crazy and run and run like Rayquaza, I don't recommend that. It isn't that great, but it's it's an option because it lets you one-shot Charizard with a Max Geyser. And the reason that this thing does so well into Sun is because it has Intimidate, it's immune to ground moves, it resists everything from Zacian, it resists a lot of what Charizard wants to go for, but it also gets access to Power Whip, which allows it to just absolutely nene on Gastrodon. If you aren't familiar with um, early VGC 2020, there was an ongoing joke that the best grass type in the format is actually uh, Gyarados because it's able to just deal with things with grass moves and it was one of its best moves. So yeah, um, I think Gyarados is pretty controversial. I have a super bulky set. I forget what it does. I ran it on a team a few weeks ago, but yeah, no, I think Gyarados could be somewhat solid into this team. Obviously, there are other checks that I probably didn't think of, um, but I was mostly just going off of like one Pokemon you could add your team to improve your matchup versus this. So yeah, it wasn't meant to be like a comprehensive list of checks. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Let me know what Pokemon you think would check Sun. And yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.